we're in the process of covering this bed up to keep these knuckleheads out. <laughs> Do you guys want to come out and flop? Yeah, they are. Yeah, we do. We want to flop. There we go. Brack, brack. Hi, chickies. Can you say happy? Tomorrow's Tuesday, Mom Day. Say happy Monday. Brack, brack. Little Peep and Henny Penny. Right, but they hopped in. Here they come. There everybody comes. Yeah, you can get some. Be nice. Be nice, guys. That's good chickies. That is good chickies. Hey, little peep. Uh oh, Henrietta. <laughs> Nugget picked Henrietta in the head. That's okay. <laughs> Little peep. Chick -chick. Yeah, chick -chick -chick. Little peep, and two of the kids are going down that way. We covered our bed to keep them out of it. Penny, Nugget, and kids. And here comes Little Red. There goes Little Red. So when you have a chicken run and you put straw in it for half a year, it starts composting. And to me, it is stinky when you're digging it you can't it's not bad when it's out there really but twice a year in the uh, spring and in the fall you have to dig all that straw that you've been putting down for them up put it in your compost bin makes for great garden soil after a year or six months i'm not sure how long we let it sit but it's not an easy task and that's not one I want to do. I'm just saying it's stinky. Thank you, honey. I asked him about this last night when he asked me if I wanted to do it. And I said, that is too stinky of a job for me. And he said, what stink? Exactly. <laughs> Even the chicks fight amongst themselves. There's a word that came from this kind of behavior and it's called hempect has nothing to do with that. Nothing. He does that stuff on his own. Because that's the kind of farmer he is. What started this, as I mentioned us putting wood ash in the run, and he said, I'm going to clean that out pretty soon. So... Yeah, I mentioned wood ash yesterday, and here we go. <laughs> hey, hey. He takes it down beside our compost bin and puts it in a pile. He has an area that he puts it, keeps it out of our regular compost. Everybody's down there dust bathing, except for these knuckleheads yeah blah, blah. and this is the reason that he built this chicken run big enough that he could walk into it because we didn't want to be crawling in that stuff we had heard about using this with aphids 
I'm going to try and use it in the chicken run to pick up bugs. I'll let you know how it works. So I can tell you the sound freaks the birds out. But I'm ready to go try and stick some bugs. Wish me luck. <laughs> brick, brick. So he's saying these are aphids. Well, they're eggs. I, I don't know if they're aphids. Don't Some they? kind of eggs. Those are, I think they're eggs. They're a squash bugs. Well, if they're squash bugs, they need to go too. Huh? If they're squash bugs, they need to go too. That's for sure. Looks like it works. It looks like dirt, but those are actually eggs that were on top of the chicken run on the inside. And I just pushed and rubbed and maybe got rid of a bunch of squash bugs. Maybe aphids, who knows? He got a new pitchfork for his anniversary. But he's making the chickens happy. I have heard pros and cons on all kinds of stuff that you put down in a run. We're on unlevel land here. It's a slope that goes down this hill to a ravine and then up another hill. And we have to use something that won't wash down the hill. And the straw is pretty much the best thing that we have found. I've heard people talk about sand and different things like that that takes cleaning every day and I've also heard people talk about how it turns to mud and it's nasty I think anything that has chicken litter in it is going to be stinky and nasty but people need to know that if they're thinking about getting chickens This is also how the avian flu is spread. If you get in there and you have your yard shoes that you wear in there, and then say you wear those same shoes to wherever you buy feed, and your birds are contaminated, if somebody wears their shoes into the same place that they buy feed and then walks into their run, then they're going to contaminate their birds. So really think about biosecurity and cross-contamination. It's a pretty serious issue.
I don't know what to think going in without straw in there. But they think it is time for them to go in. I'm going to go get that wood ash and put it in that corner. So I have a bag of wood ash my mom gave me from her fireplace. And I'm going to put it in there. Then we'll put straw. They should be going home. And this is what happens when you do it too close to dark. I put the wood ash in and they are flipping out. Want to go home. It's okay. Yeah, back back. These guys are starting to go home. Alright, Chuck, say night night. Happy Monday slash Tuesday. I won't be here tomorrow. Brick, 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 brick. Brick.